okay welcome back so uh, today's our circuit is just a simple one is how to control in one led with touch of your finger okay as we can see we can let it on or off by touch of our hand uh, our circuit is just simple today let's see okay it's simply just two transistors and two, tri uh, two resistors and one led and this is our vc and the ground this is a simple and easy circuit so let's explain how it works Stay with us. So simply what we wanted to do is we wanted to generate signal from our body to make the switch on or off. Okay. So how we can do this? Uh, the science said this that we have five microampere moving through our body. Okay, this is all the day, and this is we can move our hand, we can move our leg, just simple electrical signal uh, going to our nerve and make us move. Okay, so what we wanted to do, we wanted to just take this small signal, okay, and amplify it enough to make it. Uh, be enough to just make the switch on or off how we will do this we will do this using two stage of transistor okay as we know this switch have two working mode to this transistor have two working mode amplifier or switch okay so we have our our signal from our body which is small signal so we will put it through this operation this transistor as amplifier okay it will amplify the signal then we will send it to another transistor okay so it will be big enough to our work make it on So, how many times our signal will be amplified? We have, based on transistor type, we have some factor called beta, okay? So, based on this beta, our signal will be amplified. So, we have here around 50 microampere. Using this first transistor, this 50 micro will be amplified to be around 200 microampere or 300 microampere okay based on this bit here we have our vcc we are using vcc 5 volt okay and here is our ground so our signal will be amplified then it would reach here to the base of our transistor this is base this is emitter this is collector okay so will be reaching through our base of transistor this uh, current will be big enough to make this transistor work as switch once it became as switch it will be as closed circuit okay so our current will be passing through this way then through this one then through our resistor then our LED okay so let's just move a little out okay so this current will be enough to make this lid on so here why you are using why we are using this transistor this one around from 300 to 1k okay this run uh, this resistor actually try to limit the current okay so we call it we call it current limiter Okay, it means the current will go through this one. This one will try to limit the current and then will be enough to uh, make our LED works. Without this one, this one will be a short circuit, will only keep 0.5 volt. So it means uh, 4.5 will be on the LED itself, which will be like 
uh, short circuit so the current will be have very high value will lead to make our LED burnout and will lead to make our transistor burnout okay so uh, that's why we are using uh, this resistor uh, and this resistor this resistor also we use it so in case if we uh, wearing some silk so we have some static charge in our body this static charge sometimes became very high and lead to uh, burn our transistor or the base of transistor and sometimes it's better also to connect coil here in this point okay so based on how much you want to make uh, you want to to make your circuit expensive so here our transistor is 4 is A okay 4 to A this is very popular one you can buy it from everywhere and uh, the cost for this one will not be more than maybe half a dollar if you wanna to buy something like this uh, from the from the market which is already done before it will be maybe four or five dollar so we make it with maybe less than half the cost and uh, we use this one in many applications like in factory if you wanted to have uh, one motor okay so let's say uh, this motor will need uh, five ampere to work so if we use the normal mechanical switch when we are trying to uh, use it with this type of motor there will be some kind of spark when this motor is on or this motor is off so this spark will lead to burn the mechanical switch is a normal one so we use something called side restore something like this okay we will make another circuit to talk about it later so uh, this one once it this is our gate so once there is a signal here you can maybe have volt will make this one work as switch circuit okay okay so this one will be off and maybe five or ten uh, ampere can be passing through uh, with with no risk at all so this is one of the application that we are using this one so uh, this is our circuit for today it's very simple you can make it at home and enjoy some electronics and if you like it, join us on our channel, Awesome Project, and see you next time on another project.